What's up guys, Swag, you're back. Today we're talking about the Philadelphia Eagles. This is a team that's been on my mind nonstop. I even made a channel called Daily Eagles. We're at, I wanna say 74 subscribers. I've only made a couple of videos on there, but this team has just fascinated me this off season. Every time I make an Eagles video, it has me thinking, you see all these Cowboy fans in the comments? First of all, the Cowboys suck. The Cowboys gave me a copyright strike. I made a Dallas Cowboys video and Sure, I was using some of their practice clips, like I do with every other team. None of them ever cared. They hit me with a strike. Fuck the Cowboys, first of all, for that, and also for overall just their fans and like America's team, my ass. This this Eagles team will win the division. It's as simple as that. Jalen Hurts might be my newest favorite player. Sure, in fantasy, but if you look at what he did the last five, six games of the season, his accuracy improved drastically since his you know freshman season at Alabama what has he done go out there and just continue to improve Jalen Hurts is a winner he got this team to the playoffs I'm a Colts fan thank you for Carson Wentz by the way that that worked out great for you guys getting our first round pick that was awful trade god it was god awful trade but Jalen Hurts filled in for Wentz looks like a better guy better quarterback a lot younger of course doesn't turn it over. Jalen Hurts doesn't turn the football over. Look at what he did in training camp. His last like 163 attempts, one interception was it? At the top of my head, someone can let me know. The reason why I like the Eagles so much is because they've had an incredible offseason. This is a top six-ish team in terms of just overall roster talent. And guess what? The Eagles have the second easiest schedule in all of football. They have the second easiest schedule in all of football. They have the best offensive line in football. And defensively, last season, they struggled getting to the quarterback. They struggled to get sacks. Let's pull up their depth chart. Oh my God, Hassan Reddick, they brought him in? That's going to get it done. So they address that. And you look at, of course, their secondary, right? They still got Darius Slay, who's one of the best corners in football. I mean, top five corner in football at minimum. Of course, they just brought in CJ Gardner-Johnson for the free safety. James Bradbury, another not elite corner, but a good. James Bradbury is a good corner. He's going to play a huge role for this Eagles team. And also, they you look at their front. They've got Fletcher Cox, of course, but they drafted Jordan Davis. They still got Javon Hargrave, Josh Sweat. They bring in Kaiser White from the Chargers. I'm looking at their team right now. This team overall is one of the best in football. And the question mark for the Eagles is if Jalen Hurts steps up and plays well, they will win the Super Bowl. If there's any bets to take the Eagles to win the Super Bowl, obviously as like a dark horse, you got to take that, man. Throw a hundred bucks down, win a couple thousand. This Eagles team... I remember Josh Allen going into his third year. Everyone was like, he's not, you know, he's not that good. He's not ready. They're saying the same thing about Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts this season will be in the MVP conversation. The Eagles will win this division. And I'll go as far as saying that the NFC championship is a legit possibility. Green Bay Packers hopefully would be great for me. I mean, last season they took on the Buccaneers and Jalen Hurts did not look good in that game. Don't get me wrong. They added AJ Brown. They added AJ Brown. They're healthier. The defense is much better. If the Bucks and the Eagles go up again this season, do they play this season? Let's find out. I really hope they do. They don't. That sucks. Playoffs. If these two teams meet in the playoffs, and not to mention the running backs, you know, Miles Sanders, of course, you've got, um, if we look at their depth, they've got, they had a rookie last season that I liked a ton. Um, yeah, Kenneth Gainwell. They've re-signed Boston Scott. Zach Pasco, they bring in, dude, as like a fourth receiver. He's looked good in the preseason. The Eagles just, they click, you know, they, they check every box, man. And the fact that the only knock against the Eagles is Jalen Hurts being the quarterback is completely laughable. I'm a Colts fan. If you were to give me Jalen Hurts right now, I love Matt Ryan too. Matt Ryan, Matt Ryan's still that dude, but I mean, Jalen Hurts is going into his third season, guys. He's what, 23 years old? And you just got him AJ Brown and Zach Pascoe, who's a very consistent receiver. Again, I'm a Colts fan. Love Zach Pascoe to death. Die for Zach Pascoe. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't die for him, but like, you know, if 
he's you know once a cult always a cult man you know what i'm saying but <laughs> overall it's just a lack of competition you know the nfc what do they call it east or least nfc least is anyone f afraid of the cowboys like seriously the cowboys got a good offense sure they're like number or top team in pace every single season they've got cd lamb and they've got I'd say Zeke Elliott, but is that a is that a good thing having a Zeke Elliott? His yards have gone down every season. And then you've got the Commanders. Speaking of Carson Wentz, that team. I mean, sure they're they're not going to be a, a you know trash team, but they're not going to be a 500 team. And then also you've got the New York Giants, who I actually do like the New York Giants. They killed the draft, and Daniel Jones is definitely underrated. They've got a good defense, but. They're just not, they don't have the talent the Eagles do, dude. They just simply don't. And I wouldn't be surprised at all if actually the Giants are right there with the Cowboys. I just, this is the Eagles division to lose, bro. It's as simple as that. And I know the Cowboys, I saw in like ESPN um, projections, the Cowboys were favorited to, to win the division. The Eagles were right behind them. So a lot of people don't understand that the Philadelphia Eagles are legitimately a top five or six team in football if we're going off of just overall roster depth and talent. And imagine if those people, you know, saying those and writing those articles believed in Jalen Hurts or knew what he was capable of. Then we'd be talking about top three. And then ultimately, you know, Jalen Hurts goes out there, plays like an MVP, isn't turning it over, his deep ball, everything's improving. AJ Brown, I mean, remember Ryan Tannehill, guys, had, you know, has like the highest passing rating of all time, higher than Mahomes because of AJ Brown and because of the play action with Derrick Henry. So what's going to happen if Ryan Tannehill was putting up those type of numbers? What's going to happen when A.J. Brown now has Jalen Hurts with him? I mean, I know Ryan Tannehill can use his legs and stuff, and he's not like a scrub, but I mean, Jalen Hurts, to me, legit has MVP type of potential. And I know I was listening to a podcast, and there was a guy who, he felt this way about Josh Allen. He was completely bought into him. He was even picking him to win MVP, and then Josh Allen blew up. Josh Allen is now the best quarterback in all of football. I mean, you still you might say it's Herbert, you might say it's Mahomes or something like that, but you know, I'd imagine a lot of you will say that the best quarterback right now is Josh Allen. And if you look at Jalen Hurts and you look at Josh Allen, they both have stacked defenses. They both have a plethora of weapons. You know, Sean McDermott's a good coach. Uh, Nick Sirianni, of course, this is what his second year here. He's now you have Jalen Hurts and just you know him have that. that chemistry and that connection like he hurts his know knows the offense more so everything is just gonna go right for the eagles as long as they can stay healthy and i really want a jalen hurts jersey try to get it signed man frame it i mean i am completely bought into jalen hurts and the philadelphia eagles and once again the dallas cowboys completely suck screw them eagles will win this division they will make a deep playoff run wow you talk about a talented football team, the Philadelphia Eagles, guys. I'm actually going to throw this up there with no clips. If you guys like this type of video where it's just me in my car, I just got back from my class and I'm chilling. If you guys like this type of content, let me know down below. And, you know, go down and just let me know your thoughts on the Eagles if I miss anything, if there's something you want to add. Because, like I said, I'm not an Eagles fan, but I'm trying to post daily Eagles videos to try to bring the community together. And I'm super excited about this, guys. Stay blessed out there. And I'm out. Peace.